<clears throat> Hello. Uh, I thought I would do, since we've been doing quite a few of them, another dialogue tutorial. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to demonstrate a, a scripted conversation scene. So what will happen is when you arrive at a certain place, two NPCs will begin a conversation and then after they've done their thing, you'll be drawn into the conversation. So I'm going to start by creating a generic uh, voice type so they don't use any of the default dialogue. So I'll just call it um, conv shoot voice like that. I just saved my plugin actually. Scripted conv tutorial as well. And I'm going to create two NPCs to fill these lines. Scripted conv NPC01. I'm just going to give them a name NPC01 and a short name 1. And we'll make sure that he's unique. And we're going to go over to traits and give him the voice type that I made earlier. Conv shoot voice. Okay. I'm going to open him up again and I'm just going to edit him so that he becomes the second NPC as well. So I'm going to create a whole new NPC who's exactly the same in every way. And for some reason that first guy wasn't marked as unique. But yes, I'll create a new. So he, this new one's appeared down here. And both my NPCs are identical, but I assume you'll have two non-identical NPCs in mind. So now we're going to create our quest for this scene. So character quest. And we're going to get the ID scripted conv tutorial quest. Give it priority 45 and we're just going to hit OK. And now this is going to work in basically exactly the same way as any previous conversation would do. So I'm going to open it up by creating some aliases. And these are going to be unique aliases. So unique actor, and then we're going to look for the first N NPC we made. I can't find him. I've called him scripted conf, that was it. Scripted conf NPC 01, I'm just going to name it NPC 01. And then we're going to create a new one, which will be exactly the same thing. Another unique actor alias. NPC02, unique actor, scripted comb NPC02, okay. And now we're going to set up our scene. So I'm going to call it scripted comb tutorial scene, okay. And make sure you've clicked on it and we're going to add a new actor. And this will be the actor who'll speak first, so that'll be NPC01. I'll add new phase at end, so here we've got phase 1. Then I'm going to right click. New action, dialogue, right click new, double click in here, and we're going to have him say, hello, let's have a conversation. Okay, okay, and we're going to add phase at end, and now we're going to add a new actor, and we'll choose our second speaker, which will be NPC02, and we will right click, new action, Dialogue. Double click. Yeah. Let's have a conversation. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to keep on and on doing this. And again, this is one of these things that can go on and on and on for as long as you want. So now we're going to choose what the other NPC will say in response. So new action, dialogue. Double click. Now I'm going to say. Shall we involve the player? Okay, okay. Do I get along? Add new phase at end. Do I get along? And new action, dialogue. Double click in here. Okay, let's involve the player. Okay, okay. So now we're going to add another new phase at end. And this is where the player is going to speak. So now, whichever of these two NPCs you want the player to speak to, you need to add the next bit of dialogue in. And it can be NPC02 or NPC01. But I'm going to have um, the player interact with NPC01. So if we go new action, player dialogue, hit OK, and this will bring up this number four thing. Now I'm only going to put one response in here, because I can't be bothered doing loads and loads of them. So put a prompt. 
I'm happy to join you. And response text. I'm happy to join you. Okay. And now this is going to be what NPC01 says in response. Great to have you involved in our conversation. Okay. 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 And that's what that looks like. So I'm just going to save my plugin and then I will demonstrate how to actually get that to run. Okay, there's actually um, one thing I have forgotten to do. We're going to need to go back into our quest and in our scene here, this line, hello, let's have a conversation. We're going to need to run a fragment and we're going to run um, this line here that I have prepared. We're going to run this. And so what this will do is when this guy starts speaking, it will we use game dot start dialog camera or center on target act speaker and what this does is when this conversation begins the camera will focus on this guy the speaker and we don't have to put any properties or anything for that that'll just pa compile that away so okay there we go now we're going to go over to the stages section and we're going to create stage 10 right click new we get all this stuff and so now what we're going to want to do is create a property and we're going to be creating a scene property because we're going to start our scene up when it re when this quest reaches stage 10 so we'll add property and we're looking for scene uh, scene and just to give it the same name as our other scene if if we want it to automatically point to it but i can't remember what our other scene was i think it was called scripted Convtute scene. Let's see if that was it. Yeah, that was it. So if we give it the same name as our scene, it will automatically choose our scene. But if you give it a different name, you'll have to make sure that you pick the relevant scene. So script is convtute scene. Okay. And so now we're gonna put um scripted convtute scene, so the name of our property dot start and then open bracket close bracket to tell the uh game that it's a function and there we go so that'll work so basically when we reach stage 10 which we'll be doing we'll be setting that up later this scripted conv shoot scene which is a property pointing to the scene we made earlier will start and then when the scene starts that little line of script we put there tells the camera to point at the speaker so um npc1 when he says hello let's have a conversation so when the player reaches a certain location this whole scene will begin to run this conversation with the two people and then the player's own little interaction. So we're going to hit OK. I'm going to save my plugin. And now this will probably work best if you're in an interior because if you're in an exterior, it's hard to judge where the player will be coming from unless you draw a giant, great big, um, like a great big box around your uh, your people. So we're going to load up um, an interior cell. We're going to load up a cheers bar. Here we go, I'm inside the cheers bar, and we're going to, there's a whole heck of a lot, if there's too many of these markers, we can hit M and get them to go away, and there's way, way too many, but we're going to need to bring markers back in a minute, because we're going to be putting a trigger in. So we're going to make some actors, and we're going to click and drag our two actors into the world. So this is NPC number one, hit F, and he should dot to the ground, unless there's something in his way, and then click and drag number two in, and... Click and drag them. Place number two on the ground. They look identical, but you might have created you might have created ones to not look identical. Now this bit's actually quite easy because again we can uh, piggyback onto the back of some existing things. But uh, we're going to now want to enable markers because we're going to be drawing a trigger. I know this is going to be a bit of a nightmare, but um, if we click the trigger button and we want to create a whole new trigger, okay, and so give it a name. So a unique ID. Uh, scripted convo trigger okay uh okay am i gonna wanna oh good it's not done it properly oh oh there we go that's weird when i zoom out you can see there's a, a giant like enormous trigger appeared uh when i did it in testing this didn't happen like it just worked properly so um I don't know how it ended up with an enormous great trigger, but uh, somehow that's happened. So we're going to want to attempt to resize it. 
by clicking on these arrows and they can be a little annoying to actually get to because for some reason so now my triggers ended up right outside of a box if we click on these arrows we need to get it to a kind of a sensible size because it's freaking huge and in the wrong place and if we want to move it we have to click in like the exact the exact right place okay I'm beginning to get it into a reasonable position now there's got if anybody knows um a way to like prioritize what we select uh put it in the comments because th th this is this is this is a joke this is absolutely ridiculous okay I'm back with a somewhat reasonably positioned trigger um we're just gonna double click in it now and yeah we've clicked on the right one scripted combo trigger and this will be quite easy because we should be able to pee back onto the back of uh, an existing uh script it's gonna look for default ref on trigger enter there we go and this will come up and everything in the optional properties heading and the debug properties we can ignore because we don't need any of those all we need to do with these two up here are required properties so for my quest we're going to look for the quest we were working in earlier which I, was it called scripted com yeah scripted combo tutorial quest and then we only set one stage that was stage 10 and we can hit OK, and that is actually all we need to do. And this is what the script looks like, but we don't really need to worry with this. It's actually, as with everything in the creation kit, it's just overly convoluted, and it really doesn't need to be like that. It shouldn't be like that. I wish it wasn't. Actually, before I go into the game, I thought I'd best run through exactly what each section of, the script, of this thing does. So basically what happens is we enter this script, enter this uh, trigger, and this script runs, and we don't need to worry about exactly what the script does, because it's just a default one. So it will set the stage 10 of scripted conv tute quest. And then if we look at scripted conv tute quest, we'll see that quest stage is stage 10, scripted conv tute scene, start. And then if we look at scripted conv tute scene here, it begins here at phase 1, which says, hello, let's have a conversation, at which point the dialogue camera points at the speaker, act speaker. And we don't need to put a thingy for that because for some reason the game just understands what you mean by act speaker. And then this whole thing just runs through like this. And it can continue way on into the distance, but there's no point in me doing that for tutorial purposes. So now we've done all that, we can actually go into the game. So I'm outside Cheers Bar and we're just going to nip inside. So hopefully what should happen is when we enter our trigger, the NPCs will start to speak to one another and then uh, they will draw me into the conversation. Hello, let's have a, have a conversation. Yeah, let's have a conversation. Shall we involve the player? Okay, let's involve the player. Well, I don't know why I gained XP there. Somebody must have, I don't know, I can't imagine. I'm happy to join you. Great to have you involved in our conversation. And now this trigger will auto-delete, so the conversation won't happen more than once. So that's it, that's over, it's done. And I could have extended that conversation further, but for tutorial purposes I didn't bother. So you can see I'm re going back and nothing's happened. So that's as simple as that, really. Um, the conversation triggered right away because my trigger was, oh, was over the... Uh, must have been inside the marker a little bit. I wanted to have it a little bit. I wanted to have the trigger begin here at this line so that I would be here then take a step, but having it happen as soon as we enter into the bar is perfect because it doesn't give the player the opportunity to miss it or murder the NPCs like some kind of lunatic. So hopefully that was clear. I know there were a lot of awkward cuts in that tutorial, but um, I hope you were still able to understand it. Uh, so thank you for watching and goodbye. You, you do what you gotta.